Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Becky here to kit up a little project for us to work on in the time that uh, we have left before our May 1st start for the wolf paintings. Uh, for these little 15 by 15 paintings, um, the most colors any of them have in them is 16 colors. So I've just been using my little pre-numbered pots. Obviously some of the numbers didn't quite match up to what I needed size-wise. Um, so to make up the difference, I've used these little pots here with the snap-on lids that I purchased from Dollar Tree years ago. Um, I believe they do still carry these in a couple of different sizes. And depending on the size they come, I believe six to eight to a package. As you can see, I've got a, um, I've got writing on them to number the ones that didn't match up quite with the, what I needed for the painting I was working on at the time. So we take that off using an alcohol swab. Uh, you can uh, use just regular isopropyl alcohol. I just happen to have these little pads on hand because diabetes, yay. They just wipe right off. That is a Sharpie that I'm taking off of there. So they don't just wipe off with, uh, you know, daily usage. You have to actually have some sort of chemical to take them off. I don't know if, if like Dawn dish soap would work or not, but I use an alcohol swab because I have them and they work. So we'll just take off these old numbers here. If you hear the crinkling of the paper in the background, that is the Amazon paper package that I just opened threw in the floor and my cat is now walking on. If you didn't see that unbagging, go back and check out my previous video where I unbagged the wolf painting that I will be starting on May the 1st with Diamond uh, Painting with Lazy Retired Granny, uh, as well as DP Crazy Lady and a couple of others. So here we are ready to package up uh, whatever girls we need. Next question is, which painting are we going to do? So we've got the little snowman with the cardinal. This is probably my favorite out of the pack, so I'm tempted to leave it for last. The little fox. I'm still concerned about where his eyes are because nothing along here looks symmetrical from one side to the next that you go, oh, that's what's going to be his eyes. Um, I wouldn't think his eyes are so high up that they're hiding under the hat like a, like a gnome would be. And there's too much, you know, you've got both number seven and number 16 in the like cheek area. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a trust the process or change the process kind of picture. And then Santa with the word snow above him. These came in a packet of six for six dollars, five ninety nine on Amazon. When I last looked, they were out of stock, um, but you can probably, I don't know if that's like an actual email address, but you can look up PCH MCU on Amazon and that should take you to their storefront. So which one are we gonna do? I think it's got 14 colors, 14 colors. 16 colors. Let's go with this one. It's got 11 colors in it, so it'll be nice and easy, hopefully, to pack up in just this one little case. These are small enough. I can sit with them on a clipboard in front of the television and work on them as, as the hubs and I are watching television in the night, um, and they go pretty quickly. It's usually a couple of days of working a little bit here and there in the evenings on these to finish these up. So I've got all the drills up here. This one is canvas number XSX006. So two, three, four, and six. Here we go. Here's the coordinating packet number. These are mostly crystal rhinestones. There's a couple of them that are standard drills. I will say I've not been super duper impressed with the drills, the basic drills on these. Um, the last one I did had a black basic drill 
and it was it was just not well made. It wasn't trashy. It just was not it was not as sparkly as what we're used to. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over these real real quick. Number one is about a standard size red. What color is that? That's kind of an orangey something or other. Got a nice Christmas green. This blue's been very common in all of these paintings. This is the black. And this one does look a bit better than the previous one did. But not just a whole lot better. We've got kind of a taupey gray, little pinky color. That camera is not picking up that light or that color very well at all. And then some white. So these four right here, the black, taupe, peachy, pinky, and the white are all a standard size regular drill. The only drill in this one that's a larger size is this last one here, this red one, and it's a about a medium size drill. You kind of compare the size between them, it's not a huge difference. But when you look at the canvas, you'll see, so that was uh, drill number nine, and over here all the numbers do match up, so you don't really need to look too much at the key on these, which is nice. So number nine is up here in the word snow compared to the number one. So it's not, it's not a tremendous size difference. Looks like number 10 and uh, 11 are the same size. No, I'm a bit concerned. Oh, there they are. We missed a couple of packets here. 10 and 11 are right here. Again, there. Uh, number 10 is a blue crystal. And then number 11 is a white. Sorry, that was probably really loud in your ear. Headphone warning. So you see they've got standard size and then one that's a little bit larger in these particular drills. So give us just a second and grab something sharp. There are the scissors that I've been looking for. And let's see if we can't get this little guy kitted up. I'm gonna try to keep everything in the actual numbered order if we can. Um, some of them have not fit well in these particular boxes just because there were just because there were so many, some of them haven't fit well. Sorry, I just got a low battery warning. I don't know if I cut out on you or not, but here we are. We're plugged in. We're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and cut these all apart. Three. On this size of a painting, I have not been worried about sectioning it off. I just kind of go with the flow on these. I was a little disappointed when I first opened this. It was the first time I'd ever ordered a mystery pack. And the actual picture on Amazon, you know how you scroll through the different images for the for the painting. There was a rendering of a diamond painting on there. Knowing it was a mystery pack, I knew I wasn't going to get that exact same one. But I was a little disappointed in the fact that um, it showed a 30 by 40 on there and what I received were 15 by 15. I did let the company know um, that I was not pleased with that fact and I will tell you they are now out of stock. So I don't know if that was because I was like, hey, this ain't right. You guys are showing a 30 by 40 in your in your slides of your product I, um, examples and you're, you're sitting here sending people 15 by 15 paintings. 
So like I said, it's it's a mystery pack. You get what you get and you don't throw fit. But at the same time, when it's advertised as a 40 by 40 or 30 by 40 and you end up with a 15 by 15, that's, that's a little bit of a jump. All right, so I am gonna use a funnel on these just to kind of help make sure that they all go in, as I spill some, that they mostly go in the container. And then also on top of the painting so that I can just go. So like I said, some of these have not fit well in these containers just because there's so many of us the same color drill. That does have a bit more room in it. If I did have a little bit more, I'd be okay. Yes, I have cat scratches on my hand. When I was a teenager, I was like 18. Um, I just lost my grandmother to cancer. Let's see if we can make less of a mess this way. I just lost my grandmother to cancer and I had noticed a lump on my neck. So having not grown up in a family that was like, hey, let's run to the doctor for every little thing, this was concerning enough that my mom was like, yeah, let's go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and she's, she kind of feels on my neck and she's like, yeah, that's fine. You know, it's not a big deal. Some of these are still a little tough to open. Anyways, she happened to notice a cat scratch on the back of my hand similar to that. Um, it was, you know, coming into fall time, I still had a lot of feral kittens that I was trying to tame to get rehomed. So I had cat scratches. It happens. When you're raising kittens, it happens. Um, you take in feral kittens, you're gonna get scratched. Anyway, so she was very concerned about this scratch on the back of my hand. So she put this salve on my hand. I don't know what that woman put on my hand, but my hand started to burn like it was on fire. Whoops, we're not gonna be able to fit all of number four in here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dump it into our big tray. Dump all of them in there. This is where these little containers come in because they're considerably larger. They hold a lot. We're just gonna put that in there. Anyway, so she puts this salve on my hand. It immediately starts to burn. I jump off the, um, the little gurney in the doctor's office and immediately run to the sink. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, it's burning and the whole back of my hand is now red. And I was not pleased because now I, you know, I've come in for a possible cancer scare. It wasn't cancer, it wasn't anything. It was, it was an inflamed lymph node. But having just lost my grandmother to cancer, I was panicked and she had absolutely zero concern for that and ended up burning my hand. So I didn't go to doctors for a very long time, but I now have a really great doctor that I absolutely adore. He's awesome, takes great care of me, so. Um, but yeah, that is my hand cat scratch scared me away from doctors for about 15 years story. Anyways, and yes, I still have scratches on my hand because cats. I don't do rescue or feral raising anymore just because I, I live in town. I used to live out in the country and I had lots of room. So I had plenty of space to be able to house lots of cats and have them all have plenty of space so had a couple of rogue little blue number fours here all right oops did i just put number five in number four slot i did edit rewind who am i kidding i don't know how to edit videos yet i just record them and upload them there's no editing you get all the bloopers as they happen There's number five. Number six is this kind of grayish. These, I, I have been keeping my drills on this one. They're not organized into my container yet and probably won't be because they don't have DMC codes even on the regular drills. Um, 
but I am hanging on to them just in case I end up short on one painting or another. So far, that's not been an issue. The first one of this series I did was a unicorn. Um, it had one number of drill that was specifically, like there was only three of that drill on the whole painting, and they only sent me three of that drill. But it was a large special drill, so I... I could easily tell that I had plenty and was not concerned on that painting. This is a really pretty shade of pink. I'm excited to see where this one goes. Let's see, it's number seven. Oh, I guess it's gonna go in his face here, so. It'll be a nice rosy cheeked Santa Claus. All right, packet number eight. This is another questionable. I may have to go into a larger container, but we're going to try this one. Whoop, we're not even on camera, folks. Sorry about that. There's more error than trial in this uh, get up here. And that one, ooh, that one barely fit. about that one being able to fit all in this container because it is a little bit bigger sized drill. So I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling it into the tray in case we have to abort mission and move it into one of the bigger containers. are going to fit in there. Okay. Grab another container. These little Dollar Tree ones, this is what I used to kit up in before I got my suitcase with the screw-on lids. Um, and it's actually, it served me really well uh, for several paintings. And, I mean, can't beat the price. Like I said, that it was uh, back before Dollar Tree went to, like, Dollar Twenty-Five Tree. So... It was, it was a good investment. I had this size, and then I had one that was a little bit taller, and then I have some rectangular boxes as well that I used when I had, you know, large numbers of, of drills. So far, we've been, done pretty good getting everything into this box that I had hoped. We only have two left, and... Unfortunately, I don't think either of those are going to completely fit into this. So let's not let's not try that. Ten. So what's everybody working on right now? I know uh, several are just kind of doing like little quick projects while we wait for the first of the month. But uh, if you're not joining in on the on the wolf painting, what are you working on? All right, last one. I don't have that particular size pot right here. Bear with me while I go and grab one. You like my whole music? All right. So we peel the old sticker off of this one. And we will fill it with number 11. And then mark our lid. Like I said, I was hoping to get all of these into whoop, into one storage container since there were only 11 different drills. And I've got 12 sections on that, but such is life. Okay, 
a couple of rogue ones there. All righty. All right, so here we are. Here's our canvas that we're going to start soon. It says snow and got a couple of red birds. And a Santa Claus with a little holly in his hair there on his hat. This is a 15 by 15 with 11 colors. And we've kitted up partially here. And like I said, these are already numbered. As you see, one, two, three. Um, and then we've got our ones that wouldn't quite fit. So there we go. There's one through 11. And we'll start this in the next video. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.